Okay. So today's topic is what are the obstacles keeping you from losing your first 10 pounds? Um, now, hopefully you clicked on this video because you actually have an obstacle. Um, but even if you didn't, you know, maybe you can take away something from it. So being a fitness trainer, one of the things I notice is a large portion of people um, kind of give up after two weeks. It's kind of a thing, right? You know, you get started, you get going, you get motivated. Two weeks later, you're over it. All right. Um, and, you know, I can definitely say I've done that in the past. And it's one of those things where I feel like uh, for me, now that I've overcome that, um, I've never actually shared um, how to get over that two weeks. Right. So let's talk about it. What are the obstacles that are keeping you from losing that first 10 pounds? Well, one of those obstacles is first two weeks, right? You continue after the first two weeks or do you just throw your hands up and you're like, it's too hard. It'll never happen. All right. Now. I am not a fitness trainer with a background in athletics. I was not uh, uh, on any team sports. The only sport I actually ever trained for was football and tennis. Tennis was my favorite sport. Um, and I did not actually play on a team. I just played with friends. So for me, most of my life was spent um, either working a job or being on the road. And I will say the moment I realized I could actually lose my first 10 pounds um, was when, when my sister um, just gave me a simple routine to do every day. She said, go jog for 30 minutes. That'll be about a mile. Um, so I would jog about 15 minutes um, in one direction. And then the other 15 minutes, I knew it would take me to get home. And then he said, if that gets too hard, just jog on the treadmill for 30 minutes um, and then jump rope for 30 minutes. So a full hour workout with those simple two things allowed me to lose my first 10 pounds because I didn't give up after the first two weeks because it was such a simple thing to do and to get into and to create a routine out of it. So. Maybe I think people are making fitness too hard for themselves, right? A lot of people just, if you like to run, a lot of times when people enjoy running, they'll run. Um, I'm not the person who enjoys running, so I'm not going to get up and ever want to run. Uh, I'll walk. I'll walk anywhere, but run, no thank you. Not my thing. Um, but I get addicted to, like, the weights and everything. That was kind of my um passion in the gym and then i got into uh fitness classes and you know that's kind of what kept me in the gym um so you know i grew up where my mom she got me a trainer um as a fat kid she just knew i needed to learn the skills and it eventually i think that mindset did eventually stick with me throughout the years as well um, and then I would also go with my mom to her uh, water aerobics classes and take uh, the videotapes with uh, the little little skinny dude with the curly hair. <laughs> I can't remember his name for, to save my life. Um, and like Ty Bo, Billy Blinks was like dope to me that this man can make so much money and travel the world and, you know, have a family business off of fitness it was like something new to me as a as a child so fast forward 2020 covid happens and my job lets us go and now i'm thinking of different ways to kind of pivot and you know i have merch and things like that but those things you can't really like 
control sometimes you know like i can make my own merch now but before it was a little harder right um and that's one way to pivot and market things and do things right so there's anybody out there who wants to you know create some merch or purchase my merch please feel free to do so but that's not the like main thing um uh that as a trainer i want to do so as a trainer i realized why youtube can be so effective now i'm not like i said the trainer with a, a super athletic background i'm really the trainer with my my biggest background is i spent eight years doing stand-up comedy and then i slowly stopped doing it when i got into a job that paid me so well that i got comfortable right i got comfortable just going home having a steady check and not worrying about taking flights and things like that like you know, when you're a struggling comedian and then you get a job that pays you well, think things through a little bit, <laughs> you know, especially when you live in the Bay Area. So that's what I did. I, I, I started going into uh, the field and the field where I made, um, like started making like a steady paycheck in was um, tourism. So driving, right? So I, I got my commercial driver's license and I was sitting for a while. I would sit, drive buses, drive limos, drive, 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 and you just gain weight, you just gain more weight, and you keep gaining weight. And I decided to lose weight and become a trainer um, after doing that for so long because it was just like, yo, like, I didn't realize how quick this could happen where I could get back to a point where I felt like shit again. Like, I was literally went from having a, a pretty simple workout and doing that and building myself up. And then I got into a comfortable job and like those things slowly just went away. And I don't know if it was money. I don't know if it was just because it was all new to me. I don't know if it was just because I was bombarded with distractions and I was accepting them all. Um, but whatever the case may be, you know, COVID helped rein all that back in once again. So now that I'm not doing, um, you know, tourism anymore, um, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about as a fitness coach, how can I make fitness? So I'm going to make this simple simply by sharing my journey online. I've never done that ever in life. I've, I've, of course, I've taken the before and after photos and things, but I don't even take a lot of pictures. That's just not my thing. And I have to figure out a way to really utilize my platform in my way. So this is going to be my way through blogging with you guys and sharing these videos that uh, at one point I thought were kind of, you know, not anything I would ever be doing. But here I am. So welcome to my channel, OaklandSunshine.com. Let's talk about this obstacle of losing your first 10 pounds. All right. So now that. I have lost my first 10 pounds. I'm now 259. Okay, this is post COVID, right? Or still in COVID, whatever. But my COVID weight, my 10 pounds journey is done. All right. Now, my full journey is never done, but this part of the journey is done. And it, I lost the 10 pounds and, there, and I've beaten the depression that I've gone through and I um, started a routine. So my daily routine, my daily ritual, I wake up in the morning, drink some water, I eat some breakfast, and I either do a mobility workout or I just go outside and go work out. It's one of those two, all right? That is my routine. I get up and I just start my day. There's no need to think about it because before I go to sleep, I've already prepared for tomorrow. I have um, my favorite breakfast right now is an acai bowl. I don't know why it isn't advertised as a breakfast because it makes total sense to be a breakfast. It's better than cereal, right? You get acai, um, coconut milk. I put some nuts and some berries and some coconuts and some fresh fruits up in it. And I eat that. Um, sometimes in the morning, or if I don't do that, a simple apple or a banana will actually work very well. 
If you're one of those people, maybe you're a bigger person and you feel like you need to eat a lot. A lot of people feel like they need to have a whole lot in the morning before they before they work out. They feel like it's energy. Don't overload your stomach. You know, just put a little something in there so you can start your day. You don't want to overload your stomach, weigh yourself down. Your body's trying to metabolize all of that. At the same time, you're trying to work out. And then at some point, you're going to definitely have a, a, a harder crash than you would if you just had something light. So make sure you have a light breakfast. All right. And keep it simple. All right. When you're getting to that first 10 pounds and you know you don't like to work out, you know you don't like to get out of bed in the morning. You know you don't like to go work out at once you got off from work. Whatever your case may be. Whatever the case may be, because we all have that excuse. We've all have that excuse. It's too late. It's too early. I don't want to do it. You're saying the same thing in different ways. And we all know it. And we all have been trained to accept it. So here at Oakland Sunshine, we don't accept any of those excuses. The only thing you need to say to yourself is how could I have made that simpler for myself, right? Because the whole goal is to make it a mindset and then eventually you'll start to challenge yourself as long as you keep going, right? So let's let's just persevere. So for me, my workout has been awesome. Been following me. I've been doing Adidas training. Please feel free to join me with it. It's a great platform. I have to say, I didn't really expect much of an app um, when it came to fitness, um, but because Adidas um, gave it to me, um, I decided, why not? Let me check it out. I know I'm not paying for it, so let me check it out. And it really works. It gives you complete full body exercise, all right? And we don't need any weights, so we're not even starting there. A lot of people feel like you need the gym. Well, guess what? COVID is here. You can't even go to the gym. The gym, when you go to the gym, is outside anyway. So you might as well get used to working out by yourself outside and becoming your own cheerleader. All right. That's really what it is. You have to want it so bad for yourself that you're not going to let anything hold you back. You're not going to let anyone stop you or get in your way. So if that's your own mindset getting in your way, then you need to check it. So I checked it. I get up every day at sunrise now and I go work out. It's a thing. Now, let's be honest. Every day isn't the same. I do sleep in sometimes. But throughout the day, at some point, I'll usually get a mobility workout in. If you don't do one of those, I suggest you check those out. It's a great way to make it simple. You can literally type in mobility workouts on YouTube or Instagram. Find your favorite trainer. Go do that workout. And mobility workouts are usually... 15 to 20 minutes. If you can't challenge yourself to put 15 to 20 minutes in a day and then complain later, just realize it's because you never challenge yourself, right? Once again, we don't accept those excuses. The only thing we need to say to ourselves is how could we have made that simpler? So there's a plan for you guys. There's three plans right there that I've done personally that have helped me lose my first 10 pounds. First plan was 30 minutes jogging. 30 minutes um, jump rope. Second plan was simply to wake up every morning at sunrise and go work out. All right. And eat something light. And then the third plan was to follow my uh, challenge myself to do at least 15 to 30 minutes of workouts, whether that's with an app or whether that's going online and finding your favorite trainer and finding them with a 15 to 20 minute workout online. All right. I even have some workouts on my other channel over at Oakland Sunshine Athletic Club. Uh, please go and subscribe over there. I would truly appreciate it. And for every subscriber over there, I do perform one full pull up in my next training vlog. So if you want to be one of those people and get a shout out from me, um, go ahead and subscribe to that channel and then I'll make it happen. So until next time, uh, I want to say love life, but also in the comments, let me know what are your obstacles with getting over that first 10 pounds? What is it? Is it your mindset? Is it your surroundings? Maybe the people, the friends, you know, uh, maybe some family members, people are saying something or doing something that keeps you from being able to do it or 
you know, maybe you know, feel like you need the gym, you know, are you in that? So it's a mindset once again. Is that what's holding you back? What are your real obstacles to losing those first 10 pounds? All right. Once again, my name is Coach Anthony T with OaklandSunshine.com. Until next time, love life.